Right, welcome back to another episode of Testing the Tips, where I, as an average golfer, try out many of the tips from leading golf YouTubers out there in terms of tuition videos. And today we're looking at a video from Alex Etches Golf. And what he talks about is a very simple swing method. He calls it a catapult method to make sure we increase some uh, club head speed. But for me, more about a more positive swing through that impact location, finishing in a very positive position as well. And one that I've personally been struggling with. So hopefully we can put together a very short sequence that helps this process. Now I want you to ask yourself a question before we get into this video and it's take a look at your own driver swing or at least what you consider you do with your driver and sort of where do you sort of end up sort of from the, the back swing all the way through how does your body act and what you'll see there is probably a lot of turn a lot of effort and a lot of swaying as well and pretty much throwing that golf club at the ball perhaps with a lot of wasted energy and that's something that we're going to look at with this catapult method now basically for me over the last few days i've been watching back my swing and my sort of finishing position has been very strange to watch back on video and one of the things Alex talks about is where we end up in the swing is often uh, in relation to what we've done in that previous part of it so literally starting from the top of the swing through impact where do we finish up and how do we get there and this catapult method is really interesting and it's basically boils down to a very simple thought process to make sure that we're not swaying and wasting all that energy and make sure we're not sort of getting very steep the thought process is this we go wide we go narrow and then we go wide okay that's it so wide gives us our kind of nice takeaway gets in a good position here and then we're going to come narrow and then we're going to go wide that sounds simple doesn't it but trust me that very basic swing sequence really helps me set up and i've got that's all i'm thinking about We've got all those basic fundamentals in terms of our setup, ball position, all the rest of it. I'm not worrying about what my hands are doing. I'm not worrying about anything else right now. All I'm worrying about is that one simple thought. Wide, narrow, wide. Now, when we sort of adopt that in a less robotic fashion, it hopefully looks a little bit better. And I end up in a relatively good position, but we just want to add in a little bit of a feeling which again is quite different to how we what leads or what dictates the swing in terms of that downswing now for me i think i consider myself to be a little right arm heavy so what i'm always doing is my right side is often driving the swing and driving that impact position what alex talk about is using your left hand side to go wide narrow and then at this point we're going to rotate this left side and the left side is going to be the more controlling or the more um, the more positive element in terms of that swing and the, what that's going to do is the one thing that i've been struggling with and that's making sure that i rotate right through the shot and that my chest is pointing in a slightly upward direction and facing target these are for me this was an interesting one because it sounds again and as they very much often do from alex very simple and that's what i like about his channel now we also suggest that what we do you notice i've got a ladies driver we're filming a different video today at the moment but that's going to make no difference to the end result is to generate that sort of catapult motion we put the head cover back on and we look to do the drill wide narrow wide what that does it almost obviously adds a little bit of weight and when you practice in this method it really you've got to add in that extra bit of effort in terms of that turn that left shoulder lead and becoming more dominant than the right to make sure that we get that additional weight through so it just and you can see from me takes that little bit of extra like i said effort that's going to fly off very shortly so wide narrow wide it's a real basic drill but one that i really love the fact is what happens when i take this off now is all of a sudden this already very light shaft that we've got in hand in that ladies club seems oh my word incredibly light i don't know if anyone's seen this before but it's a great warm-up as well but alex really wants you kind of to 
throw yourself at this in terms of we're looking to catapult this ball we've got driver in hand and we want to get this thing as far down the fairway as we can so wide narrow wide let's see how that goes so today's video comes to you in association with our travel partner Glencore Golf and this week they sent us off to Portugal arrived in Lisbon airport and then a short drive to Dolce Campo Real The Donald Steele Design Golf Course weaves its way through valleys, mountains and vineyards and is a true test of golf in the most tranquil of surroundings. Breathtaking views from elevated tees and fairways that wind through a landscape arriving at well-protected greens, each shot requires your full attention. A clubhouse awaits for post-round drinks, then relax into the modern hotel rooms, bars and restaurants, refreshed and ready to do it all again. For more information on this or any other golf trip you may be planning, speak to the team at glencoregolf.com. How's that? It's right at the tree as well. Oh, you see it? That's literally right in line exactly where you're recording. Yeah. Oh, right, okay. I thought we weren't on there. Well, that's maybe. Um, you know, at some stages you get a little bit shocked at the results and uh, the line I was aiming at, that ball did not deviate from. We've got a 12 degree, had 12 and a half degree drive ahead, went a little bit higher than I would normally see off driver, but ultimately what we achieved was a super straight ball flight, super fast off the face and a great long carry as well. And like I said, did not move from its intended target line. Alex, some of the things you throw together, I absolutely love. And like I said, this is something I can take to the golf course. Very, very simple. Wide, narrow, wide. Left shoulder, as I feel it, left shoulder dominant in terms of making sure that I get that rotation, I get through the ball, and I finish very much looking up at the sky and hopefully watching my ball down the middle of the fairway and hopefully that works for you right thanks to that alex don't forget that's my interpretation of alex's video the full uh, video or link to the full video will be in the description box below if you want to go and see if i've missed any elements but for me very simple that one go and try it for yourself come back get in the comment section below let me know if it worked and hopefully you're finding a few more fairways with driver in hand thanks for watching i'll see you soon